now with the global mission to create racial equity. And it all starts with children. Our new GMA3 contributor, Roxy Diaz, joins us for the very first time with that story. Welcome, Roxy. Guys, thank you so much. I am beyond excited to join the GMA3 team, and this assignment warmed my heart. There is a foundation that is giving tens of millions of dollars to the cause of racial equity. And thanks to our sponsor, the WK Kellogg Foundation, I flew out to the Kellogg House in Battle Creek, Michigan, and the president and CEO revealed the five finalists they chose to make racial equity a reality. 1,400 applicants, over 72 countries, $90 million, five awardees, all challenged to change the world. It's called Racial Equity 2030, the W.K. Kellogg Foundation's global mission for a more equitable future. President and CEO LeJune Montgomery Tabron tells me the foundation's goal is also her passion. You're not only the first black female president at the Kellogg Foundation, but you were also the first person of color to be hired at the foundation. Do you ever wonder why it took so long? It should not have taken so long <laughs> because 27 years of working in the organization, the moment I think was right. This idea of racial equity is something that has always been talked about, but I feel like it's getting a lot more shine. What do you think has changed and evolved? We've been really focusing on the root causes of why children aren't thriving. The root cause is structural racism. In order to achieve racial equity, you have to also engage in racial healing. We witnessed the differences in health outcomes between people of color and white people. We saw a racial reckoning live on camera, the murder of George Floyd. And I think it created a level of awareness. Racial Equity 2030, let's talk about it. Racial Equity 2030 was a global challenge asking people and organizations from all over the world to bring their solutions forward. We launched this effort in 2020, which was our 90th anniversary. We committed $90 million. The 10 finalists each received a million dollars. So are you ready to list who these awardees are? I am, and I'm going to start with Action Aid, a Brazilian organization seeking to create the first anti-racist education system. Communities United, seeking to provide healing and social justice for young people in the city of Chicago. Indian Law Resource Center, working to bring land rights to indigenous people. Partners in Development, an organization in Hawaii seeking to eradicate youth incarceration. And finally, Namati, an organization that's working at the intersection of environmental justice and climate change and racism. These organizations are bringing bold solutions to addressing these issues, and they will be models that can be replicated all over the world. If you want to learn more about Racial Equity 2030, you can visit the W.K. Kellogg Foundation's website. Back to you guys. Rocks. Stop it, TJ. Rocks. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Look, Rocks and I go way, way back a decade oh, or so working together, so she's going to be giving me a hard time. So no, that you was giving her a time. hard time. Let's be honest, right, we'll, Roxy? We'll, we'll team up on, yeah, on him. Exactly. He, he needs, yeah, he yeah. needs to get put in yeah. line. Mm -hmm. <laughs> exactly. Start. Don't worry, I got it. All right. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.